His team placed fifth in the nation. He's been performing all around the United States ever since. He's been doing his thing. And I believe he has his CDs here for sale. So check him out. Put your hands together for Uninvited. How y'all living? My name is Uninvited. Got to give it up for my homie, Jay Skills. Shell Town, Ale Town thing. Hey, Jay, look, what you just do? One, uno, dos, okay, all right. <laughs> so, I, I wrote a poem about my favorite cartoon. And it's called Curious George, Curious George. I never knew that one day a monkey would run this country. Every time I get a revolution on the cell, I get the DEA pissed. Now the FBI wants to hunt me like I'm an Arabian terrorist that's number one on the government's wanted list and it's all conducted by this homo vice president whose first name starts with Dick Cheney. Look, I don't like Dick so you can't train me. Psychologically, I know your politics obviously. I cut my lips off before I deep throat your so-called democracy. I put a bomb inside of me before I let you insert your patriotic hypocrisy through Republican side of me. Obviously, I'm I'm here to spit back so my mental stomach can no longer be trapped. I can no longer digest propaganda bananas fed to me by the man in the yellow hat. I'm curious, George. Why must you bomb people to free them? Then get shocked when we refuse to settle for your obvious illusion of freedom. First to declare war, but the last to grab a nine and march to the front line and shoot. I'm curious, G Dub. Do you like to see blood? Or is it that your dyslexic ass can't count the rising death toll of our troops? This illegal war should hang from a noose for forcing American youth to die in the rush. They should place your face on the dollar bill with the imprint 666 in all we trust. There was no knowledge of terrorists making threats weeks before 9-11. Those records don't exist. How dare you attempt to insult my intelligence? You illiterate piece of shit, I swear. Everything you say makes no sense. You're not a real leader. No real leader would continue to hide your communist crackheads to run FEMA. That's why the levels that's why the levees couldn't be the tampons to clock Katrina's vaginal squirting. I know the truth is hurting, but we must fathom the fact that our government calls these catastrophes to employ Halliburton. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? You order soldiers to torture prisoners to the point where they're either dying or confessing. But you and your family were the lethal injection that set off the lethal weapons on 9-11. You need to get the stepping or put your ego aside to save this country you claim to love in. If not, you're gonna be the only president who needed three terms to find weapons of mass destruction. The lack of function in your brain makes everything you speak illogical and weak. You make me wanna give an intern bread to give you head so you can get impeached. I'm over the salad while I held to our commander in feet who was selected and not elected. Ask the electoral voted black and then admit that's a proven fact since I refuse to be a Republican or a spindocrat. Slave masters want to ask me this. Slave masters want to ask me that. If you don't like this country, then why don't you leave? Why are you waiting? How could you complain when you don't even vote for the leader of this nation? I did vote, but I voted for his assassination. They say violence never solves anything, but what the fuck am I supposed to do? Turn the other cheek when they don't allow showing bells, wedding bells to ring. Am I supposed to smile and laugh when they stick a plunger handle up my ass? Is laughter supposed to exit my throat when I'm dragged two miles down a dirt road? Should I ignore the warrior in my soul when they mistake my wallet for a gun and leave my body with 41 holes? Am I still supposed to be the most optimistic, positive Negro with the free world when they burn my church, which contains my trapped black four little girls? Should I chill when they kill our leaders? They torture my whistling son who had a fatal case of jungle fever. Am I not supposed to hit back? Just because I'm black, I must live free to die free. So fuck that. I stay strapped. Give me your jobs. Your government is a fast food value mill, refusing to serve reality in a doggy bag full of facts, supersizing big maps of propaganda. Talking about, do you want lies with that? Oh! <laughs>